Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know who I am, I'm Jackie. I'm so excited for today's video. I think it's gonna be really fun. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to be making an entire meal out of Dollar Tree Foods. The reason why I decided to do this was because on November 5th is mine and my husband's anniversary. So I thought, why not make a three course meal out of Dollar Tree Foods as a way to celebrate? He is kind of skeptical to say the least. He's not, he does not have any hope for this. I'm doing this, I'm not doing this like on our actual anniversary. We're like going to go out somewhere, but I just thought it would be fun to do like, you know, just cause. So I'm going to do a quick haul of everything that I got. And then when I make this, because I literally just got home from the store and I'm probably making this tomorrow night. So when I pick back up in the video, I'm actually going to like show you guys like what I make with this stuff because right now I'm still kind of like indecisive. I just picked up some stuff that I knew I could make a meal out of in some way. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the appetizer. I do know what I'm going to make for this. Okay, so I saw a recipe on Pinterest for these grape jelly meatballs. And I have been wanting to try it for a long time and they had everything at the Dollar Tree for it. So I'm going to give it a shot. All it is, is a container of je grape jelly and a container of barbecue sauce. You put them together and you add some frozen meatballs and it's supposed to be really good. So lucky for me, they had frozen home style meatballs at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed a couple bags of these and that's going to be my appetizer. The next thing that I got were things that I could possibly make sides out of. I got one of these chicken flavored rice packets. I also got this box of stuffing, which I'm kind of like sketched out about just because like the like wrapping of it looks really generic, not a lot of information. I guess I'm more used to like stovetop. I don't know. Hopefully it's good. We'll see. Also got this cream of mushroom soup. Just because like a lot of the times you can use it as a base for different casseroles or something. So I figured I'd get it and I can figure something out uh, with that. Next thing is this box of Texas toast. Actually, my husband requested this. We saw it when we were there and he really liked it. So I was like, you know what? I'll make it with the dinner because at least I know that he picked out something from this meal. I got this bag of asparagus. I figured I could make something with this. And then to go with my sides, I had to do it. I've been watching videos on it. My husband, he is not thinking this is gonna go good. Um, but I had to get the $1 ribeye steak. I had to. I It looks really, I'm really sketched out about it. The coloring is not there, but um, <laughs> I'm going to keep an open mind about this $1 ribeye and hope that it goes well. I'm telling you, my husband did not. He was trying to get me to do something else. I was like, come on, like it's dinner. It's supposed to be this fancy meal. What, how are we going to do this without a ribeye? So I got two of those. And then as my backup plan, because I'm telling you, my husband is like super sketched out about it. Um, I got two of these bone-in pork chops just as kind of like a little, you know, backup plan, so to say, if it doesn't go well. He was more like okay with the pork chop because the coloring was a little more normal. Um, so that is what I'm going to create my main course out of. And then I got stuff to make dessert. The first thing that I got is brownie mix. I figure you can't go wrong with brownies. They're really good and it was something easy I could make. To make my life even easier, I bought one of these rapid brownie bakers. I I know my sister has bought one of these, she's used it. So I got that. And then to spice up my brownies and make them a little different than just like, you know, plain brownie mix. I got some of these like peanut butter cups uh, just to like maybe swirl in some peanut butter to make them peanut butter brownies. Kind of enhance just your plain old brownie mix. Now I am going to go and put all this stuff away and then tomorrow I will meet back with you guys 
and we'll make a meal together. But for me, that's going to be like 24 hours. But for you guys, it's going to be like one second. So see you guys in the next one. so I finished making everything um, what I ended up making with the stuff So I'm actually going to get my husband and bring him in and get his reaction since this was for him and our anniversary. Also, he was super skeptical about everything. He was worried about the steak not tasting good. He was really concerned um, about this whole plan. But um, yeah, so I'll just go and grab him and then we will talk about it. Okay, guys, so this is my husband, Brandon. You guys probably remember him from <laughs> the first video that I um, put out. Uh, now we're going to talk about all the courses that we've done. So let's start with the first course, and that was the appetizer. So what did you think of the grape jelly and barbecue sauce meatballs? Oh, wow, I didn't even know there was grape jelly on it. Uh, I'm not a fan of jelly, so knowing that going in, I might not have liked these, but uh, they were pretty good. I gave them a 7 out of 10. Okay, that's not bad, honestly, because I think, so for that meal, um, well, for the entree, I mean, the, I'm already screwing up, <laughs> for the appetizer, um, that only costed $3. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're going to move on to the entree, and this was the one that had the $1 ribeye steak in it. One dollar ribeye steak. I didn't trust that at all, but uh, it was pretty good. It was it was a little bit chewy, but the flavor was really good, and you can't expect much out of a one dollar steak. But I was presently surprised. Okay, what did you think about the stuffing? Um, I was really impressed with that. Oh, that yeah, was the my stuffing was fire. And I think what else? Well, let's not talk about the Texas toast since I burnt it. Yeah, she burnt the toast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now we're going to talk about the dessert. Me, personally, I was really disappointed because when I put the batter with the peanut butter in the Rapid Brownie Maker, I was, like, thinking it was going to be a five-star brownie. Yeah, I thought it was looking really promising from that pour, but uh, in the end, I mean, it still tasted good, but the presentation, it looked like... I thought it was going to look a lot better than it did. That's what I thought, too. I thought it was going to look, like, so bomb, like, it, how it looked in the pan. But it just did not hold up very well. But I think if I would have baked it in an actual, like, baking dish versus, like, me just put heating it up in the microwave. Yeah, but for the amount of time it took in that brownie maker. I guess versus, like, you know, 25 minutes in the oven versus three and a half minutes in the microwave. I guess you can't beat that. That's true. All right, well, that was it for my um, Dollar Tree anniversary dinner. I hope my husband enjoyed it. It sounds like he kind of did. It was good. <laughs> um, and thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and we will catch you guys in the next video.